The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. Welcome to Creation is Science, where we learn about our Creator, and today we're having something fun, and I can't wait to tell you and see what's happening today. I'm Aunt Francine, and this is Professor Roy. It's good to be with you. May I introduce you to our kids? Yes, please. A Aiden. Hello. Hi, Aiden. A Eduardo. Eduardo. Ishmael. Israel. And uh, Ali. Hi, Ali. Wow. So what are we doing today? I have no idea what we're doing. You have no idea? Oh, you know, this is going to be interesting. We're going to talk about uh, something that generates a twisting force. A and vortex? It's, it's called a vortex. You're absolutely right, Ishmael. That's it. It's called a vortex. And we have some vortex generators. First of all, you know what? We've got something way at the top of that cart Ooh. over there. Why don't you get it down? Let's see what we've got <gasps> right here. You want to take it to him? You want to take it to you, Professor? <laughs> oh, have you Let's seen see what any we got. Those? Actually, we have a couple of bottles right here, and this is a, a vortex uh, generator right here. It's a cap, okay? And you can make one of these at home. If you have two bottle caps, somebody Let's can stand right over here so they can see you. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. right there. Wait, what's that standing still? So if you have two bottle caps at home, you can glue them together and somebody can drill a hole in them and you can put two bottle caps together. Now the red stuff is floating on the water. What floats on water? Oil. Oil, that's right. We have some oil right red here. This oil? Is, this is lamp oil. Interesting, isn't it? Now if Did we turn this over, that? let's turn this over. Now oil and water do not mix, do they? No. So what we can do is we can make a vortex generator by swirling the water. Now check this out. Watch and see what happens when we get this swirling. And we can make a little what? Vortex. It doesn't. That's oh, right. We got a like, get. You remember that? Vortex. There's we got a tornado. A tornado, a tornado in a bottle. And we're gonna keep it in the bottle because we don't want to, you know, have it mess up the whole countryside. Isn't that interesting? Wait, it, it wouldn't. I think so. Interesting. Well, that's what we call a what? A vortex. A vortex. If you fill up the sink with water and the water goes down, what do we get? You remember that? There's We got a vortex, right? A spinning column of water going down. It could be a spinning column of water, but a vortex can also be a spinning column of air. Now, that's interesting. Now, sometimes if we've ever had a big fire, like a forest fire, you can actually have a fire tornado. Would you like to see a fire tornado? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see what we got. Well, we're going to get the lights dimmed down a little bit. Okay. And let's see goggles. what we got. So I'm going to go ahead glasses. and we're going to light this on fire a little bit. If we have a big, big fire, then the heat from the fire, the heat goes up, draws air up, cooler air comes in and it causes that whole thing to spin. So let's take a look at this. Let's see what we got right here. Let's turn this on. Whoa, and let's see if we can get the, oh, look at that. You see it's turning? Yeah. It's like a what, a tornado, but it's called a fire tornado. And some fire tornadoes can go up into the air over a thousand feet in the air, and it can create its own weather patterns. Isn't that interesting? That is very, very interesting, and I love, fire tornadoes, but they're very dangerous, aren't they? They are. That's right. They Especially can even, if they get out of control. <laughs> that's right. They can even create their own weather, and that could be interesting as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off right here. I'm going to set that down on the floor. And we're going to put our fire out. Would that be a good idea? Yeah. I think so. I'm going to put this cover on here, and we won't have to worry about that fire at all. You know what we did? We have made a little vortex generator for each one of you, and we're going to f we're going to figure out what it is. First of all, you can make this at home, just in a little cup. And we put a piece of balloon or maybe a, a glove. Okay, some kind of a surgical glove. We put a little hole in the bottom of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up, hand it to Aunt Francine, and she's gonna hand this to you. No, here we go, are we ready? Okay, and all you have to do is to hit the 
hit the rubber part and we're gonna get a vortex shooting okay. out. Go ahead and hold it up in the air. See what you got. Do we have a vortex shooting out? Oh, there we go. Okay, you go hand that to our next okay. person right here. Yeah, Let's ahead. fill this up. Tap it. Watch the vortex coming out when they tap that balloon on the on the Good end job. of the cup. Okay, here we go. And we got another got one it. over here. Good All job. right, here we go. Ouch, it's hot. You see the little do you see them coming out? Okay, and he's putting his out really, really fast. <laughs> Okay. okay, here we go. Oh, it's too hot. Okay. It's too hot. Not for me, look. Okay, all right. We got it? Whoa. Now, now we can make larger vortex can... generators at home. We can make larger vortex generators at home. Pardon me? Can I refill mine? Do what? Refill it. Can I refill it? Yes, I can refill it. Okay, yes. well, we got some other things to do as well. Mine's out again. Okay, there we go. All right, now we'll we can make a later. larger vortex generator Mine still has by some. taking a trash can, okay, and putting a hole in the bottom of oh. it. See the hole in the bottom <laughs> of the trash can? And so then all we need is to get, you can yeah, grab a hole of your mother's it. shower curtain, just use the corner of it, okay? We're gonna make a little drum head on this trash can. And so I have a, uh, a bungee cord, or you could make, you could use a, a string, okay, or even a belt, and we're gonna tighten that up for us. And all we have to do is to fill that up with some of this fog. You wanna push that button for us. There you go, we're gonna fill that up. Okay, we'll get that all full, okay. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to see if we, okay, that's all, all right, here we go. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, why don't you come over here here, let's go ahead and let's. We're gonna aim at those cups. Why don't you hit that for us? You get the green. Whoa! Oh. Do you see that? Oh my lance! And Ellie's gonna he's gonna set those back up for us. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna fill this up. Y'all gonna try? Okay, let's see what we got right here. Here we go. So we're gonna fill this up again with some fog, and our machine is going to cool down a little bit before <laughs> we do anything else. Again. But you know what happens is vortex, the air travels in a very, very interesting way. You know, sometimes in nature, we have vortexes in nature. Did you know that? You know, when birds fly, there's a vortex coming off of the edge of their wings. So they curl them up to avoid that. Uh, okay, when that helps, it helps with airplanes too. That's interesting. Well, and then also, sometimes the vortex will help to give the birds some lift, and sometimes it helps them to catch insects while they're flying because it gives them drag when they want to turn in a very, very yikes. immediate way. But the vortex comes from the same amount of air, the same molecules of air are going all the way across the room right now. Wow. Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. So okay, we got the cups all Still lined going. up again. Cups all lined again. Allie, you wanna try this? We're gonna aim it right at our cups okay, and go ahead and hit that for way. us. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's you a little bit aim. low, aim a little higher. You can aim. Hit it again. Whoa, Don't and you knock those off. Can you can set those up now. for us. Okay, I'll, set those I'll up for us. For now that's interesting. Go ahead and push that button again. Let's see if we got some more in there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there we go. All right, who hasn't tried this yet? I haven't. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right, let's see if we can knock those cups down. Hit that thing. Whoa, and you got a good shot. Great shot. Who hasn't tried it? No. Okay, then you're next. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, I got him all in one shot. Did you try it? Yeah, I did. No, it was me. Okay, all right. He tried it as well. Interesting. You know, there's some other animals that make a vortex. You know, have you ever watched a, a fish swim? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. when fish swim in the water, there's a vortex behind them. Interesting, isn't it? And sometimes you can see it if there's a lot of like uh, murky water or a lot of sand or silt, you can actually see a little vortex forming. Sometimes when an airplane flies, you can see the vortexes off of the tips of the airplane's wing. Like a oh. fighter. Like a what? A jet fighter, maybe. Like a jet fighter? Yeah, perhaps. That's interesting, isn't it? Mm. But vortex, we can find them in nature. We also find them in what? You find them at your house sometimes, don't you? <laughs> yeah, because they spin. What about the fire tornado? Have you ever seen a fire tornado? No. 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 Well, a well, fire. Yes. It? <laughs> On a YouTube video. 
Oh. Yeah, me too. I and think I've experienced it. And it was scary because it was a fire out of control. And that was scary because the wind was coming off the lake and it was starting to spin because it was so hot. And when it gets out of control like that, it really seems like it's jumping. So that was scary. Have you ever seen a water spout? No. Is yes. that a kind of a, a vertex also, do you think? When it's over the water and you see water spinning over the ocean? Yes. Have you seen that? That's kind of I've neat seen too. That's kind of right. a vortex. And sometime in a water I spout. To do that. And sometime in a water spout, it'll pick up even fish. Waterproof. And the fish will go up into the water spout. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> that's right. That's funny. You know, some of the temperatures in a uh, fire vortex, they get up over 700 degrees. So that's oh. really, really hot. Very interesting, isn't it? It can go up very, very high up in the air. And some of those fire vortexes are, could be about 500 feet in diameter. I mean, that's oh, the size of about, about one and a half football fields. And that's just total fire going up into the air really, really quickly. That's very interesting. So is there any way that we could stop a fire tornado? Um, you could probably call the fire department. Call the fire department. I think we need to pray for rain. We could pray for rain, that's right. And <laughs> we've got to- Water. Right, with water, water's uh, the water's best way. No, I don't think it would work if you just had a small bucket of water and you had that. Uh, yeah. No, it would take a lot it. of water, wouldn't it? That's right. It but if we could cool it down, okay, which would be very interesting to do. But those are vortexes. And sometimes we find in nature, we find some volcanoes that produce a vortex, okay? A vortex, like a big smoke ring like we have coming out of this trash can. And some of those can go up over a mile in the air. Can you imagine a smoke ring like that going up in oh. the air over a mile high? That's right, Mount Etna does that. Oh, That's interesting. Are. Mount Etna produces that, and it's a volcanic mountain. Oh. That is very interesting. You know, that's, that's amazing. In, Mount Etna's in Greece, right? Uh, yes, that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's interesting. Well, and that vortex, you know, you can make these at home, can't you? What we did, how did we make that? We how did we make it? Some it's water. just a cup, isn't it? With a hole in the bottom of it, and we've got a piece of balloon the on the other we side. Need will be some, maybe we could make some flour with some a fan or something to do it, because I don't think you would have regularly a smoke machine at your house. No, but you could use something else, couldn't like you? You're fire. right, you're right. Like you said, powder. Or if you fire. got powder, powder, you might be able to do something. smoke from fire. That's exactly but, right. We oh. did that, well, but you know, it didn't That's really, really quite amazing, oh, isn't no, it? It is. No. So, you know, I'm thinking sometimes how tornadoes are. Have any of you had to evacuate because of tornadoes? Yeah, but oh, yeah. yeah. And well, sometimes not necessarily evacuate. No, or go no, to the no. So sometimes we you go to a safe. That had a basement. So sometimes we go to a safe place. But can I get you over here? But we want to be safe. And let's read our Nehemiah. Go ahead. You're ready for Nehemiah nine verse twelve. And let's see what the Bible says. I'm interested in knowing what that says. Moreover, you led them by day with a cloudy pillar and by night with a pillar of fire, to give them light on the road which they should travel. So who was leading them by night? God. Yes, God himself, he was with his people, the Israelites, right? And did they need to be afraid? No. No, no they were still consistently afraid, weren't they? But they didn't have to be because God was with them all the time. And God is always with us. Don't you want him to always guide you? We don't have to be fearful of tornadoes or the vertex fires or the water spouts. Whatever may come our way, we can always turn to who? God. God, because he wants to be the light of everything that we see, right? And wants to be in our lives. And so we can just follow him. I hope you'll enjoy watching us and thank you for joining us on Creation is Science! Science! Bye! Bye! See you guys!